Your eye looks much better, Arthur. How's your mother's jaw? Better. And your father? No one's seen him. And no one will? That worked out rather nicely. Will Lord Ferris ever come back? I don't think so. You miss him? He was nice. He called us his little birds. He gave us sweets. It's funny you should mention that. Guess what I happened to find today? Candied plums and all. <laughs> now remember, if any of your friends like sweets or need help, they can always come to me. All I need in return are whispers. No need to be afraid. This is Sir Gregor. He's friends with all my friends. Run along now. Barris's little birds. Your little birds now, Your Grace. What did you do to them exactly? I haven't been able to get a clear answer. Oh, well, a number of things. Does you understand what we're saying? I mean, to the extent that he ever understood complete sentences in the first place. He understands well enough. So tell him to march into the sept and crush the High Sparrow's head like a melon. The High Sparrow has hundreds of faith merchants surrounding him. Sir Gregor can't face them all, and he won't have to. He'll only have to face one. As the faith level official charges you? Not yet. That's just one trial by combat I look forward to watching. Don't stop at the city. I want little birds in dawn, in High Garden, in the north. If someone is planning on making our losses their gains, I want to hear it. If someone is laughing at the queen who walked naked through the streets covered in shit, I want to hear. I want to know who they are. I want to know where they are. As bad as Lord Varys was, Kyburn is worse. I told them all. I told them. He's arrogant, dangerous. You don't get thrown out of the Citadel without good reason. And no one listened to my advice. So, here we are. And what he's done to Gregor Clegane is an abomination. We never sanctioned this, this experiment. 